What's up everyone, Goro's turn back here with another Analog Conjurations video. Hope you're fucking ready for the stack. And as you can hear in the background, I got Cannibal Corpse still in my head because I'm fresh off the Metal and Beer Fest in Philly, which they headlined and set was fucking awesome. They played a bunch of old school tracks, which I was psyched to hear. Some old classics, Unleashing the Bloodthirsty, Death Walking Terror, uh, Stripped, Raped, and Strangled, Fucked with a Knife. I could go on, man. Fucking awesome set. But the band who stole the show for me was definitely Nuclear Assault, no surprise there. They played Game Over in its entirety, uh, the encore. They played a uh, new song, Critical Mass, and Game Over, which was awesome to hear, man. They had not played those songs in over 30 years. I mean, John Connolly even had a binder with all the lyrics, so between songs, he would, you know, switch the pages, you know, flip the pages, I should say, uh, and just read the lyrics because he just you know, need a refresher course, which was great to see, great to witness that. Was right in the front row, incredible, man. The beer was incredible as well, but I'll talk about that another time. Let's talk some fucking vinyl because that's what you came for here today. And stay tuned because I got uh, two unboxings to do for you. Uh, that's the main reason I'm doing it tonight. Just got home from work and I'm sorry if I seem a little tired, I just worked like a 12 hour shift. So it was a crazy long day, but fucking ecstatic to talk some fucking vinyl with you, my friends. So. Let's get started with uh, my fellow states, uh, my fellow statesman here, the Evil Savior, uh, band from Texas with "And Darkness Fell." This was released off Hell's Headbangers Records, and I should say that this was a blind buy. I got this at a sale that uh, Hell's Headbangers was having, and uh, it was at five LPs for sixty dollars uh, sale that I think they still have going on. And I think there's still some copies left if you guys want to get this. Incredible Black Death Metal, man. I mean, it's great. I really love that these guys keep it simple, keep the song short and memorable though. It's not really just blast beats and just vicious riffing all over. It's really, it's very memorable. All the songs sound different, if that makes sense. Um, and the vocals, I really like uh, Francisco's vocals. Uh, Francisco Polito, who also does uh, Joaba, jamming out, jamming out all badass podcasts. If you have not checked that out, please do. But yeah, man, his vocals, um, they're like present, but they're kind of in the background, you know? They're not overpowering the rhythm section, which is, it's just on point that every song definitely has its attributes, which just have their level of, you know, a good level of catchiness. And yeah, man, they just stand out. I especially love the vocals in Carry On uh, for Beasts. Um, God damn, that fucking vocal work is just great in that one. Another good one is Crucifracture. Fracture. And then uh, Obscenity of the Cross, probably, another good one. Uh, all the songs are short, so Possession to Calvary, Destruction of the Holy Sepulchre, uh, Disgrace the Throne, yeah, fuck yeah, man. But yeah, those three I first named for sure always stick in my mind, especially Carry On for Beast, man. I listen to that shit. I love the vocal work in that one. Always gets stuck in my head. It's just a vicious sounding record. And can't go wrong with this fucking artwork here. I mean, just look at that. Black Death from Texas, please check it out. And uh, yeah, I really want to get the other variant they released. I think they released 100 on silver. So I think I'm going to get my hands on that eventually. And they also have another split that I want to get my hands on. But the time will come for that. Uh, yeah, I think I have it in my Discogs card. So maybe soon, hopefully. But yeah, my feeble savior. Check them out. Good shit. And now let's talk some US black metal. Some One Master. I definitely mentioned this band. Uh, the last time I talked about these guys was my short-lived Digital Damnations. A series, I can't even call it a series. I only did one CD update and that was it. And I talked about these guys. I think I at least did talk about them. I really do remember talking about these guys. But yeah, this is the Quiet Eye of Eternity. This is their debut full length, if I'm not mistaken. They also released another one, Reclusive Blasphemy, which um, I've never really gotten that into, but I mean, it has its uh, good qualities. But the best quality about this one is One Master wrote one of the best songs black metal songs at least that I've ever fucking heard and I'm not just saying that and that is the destroyer part one um, I think they added part one and two just so they can have a full track listing there I mean I don't know why they split it up in two but the destroyer part two does have you know a slower um, tempo it's slower riffing so I guess that's why they did it but anyway regardless I digress the destroyer part one go listen to it that main riff off the top, it always sticks in my head and it always gives me chills. Like from the first time I heard it, I was like, fuck man, literally one of the greatest fucking black metal songs ever written. But yeah, I love it. I love the the money riff. I hate to quote Phil and Selmo again, but you know, he talks about, I don't know if you guys ever seen Get Thrashed. He talks about Pantera. 
always playing the money riff all over in the song, playing the riff that everyone wants to hear throughout the entire song. That's basically the Destroyer part one, but that riff is fucking great, man. I'm pretty sure when they wrote it, they were like, holy shit, put that on tape. Uh, but yeah, this comes with a uh, blank uh, lyric sheet on one side, but there's the lyrics on the other side. And I got it on solid black. There's the labels there. So nothing wrong with good old solid black. But yeah, man, One Master, Quiet Eye of Eternity. Don't feel it gets a lot of love. But yeah, it's only, um, it? it's only four tracks, technically, if you don't count The Destroyer's two parts. Infinite Void's pretty good, Field of Ruins, pretty much all of them, man. They're all fucking great. But yeah, mainly listen to that one. Destroyer part one, you will not regret it. I swear, fucking seriously, pause this video and go listen to that shit. It's fucking amazing. Fucking love that song. Anyway, moving on to a band that I have talked to about. Uh, I have talked to you about, I should say. See, I'm telling you, I can't even talk. My brain's on a fucking delay. It's fried. But anyways, uh, heading back to this great band from Finland, a band that I recently discovered and I already fucking love so much. Making making up for uh, the lost time. I mean, these guys haven't been around for long. Oh uh, yeah, around for long, but they've been around long enough for me to want to catch up to everything they've done. But yeah, this is Morgul's self-titled EP and I got the uh, picture disc variant off of um, Hell's Headbangers luckily oh shit but yeah man you know what I love about these guys that um, in this album they also do it the single note riffing man they do it so fucking well but yeah here's the picture disc there with all the guys hope you guys can see that all right yeah man fucking awesome yeah Black Rat, Zoth, Mistress of Blood Especially those, man. Those are my top two. I mean, it's only a four-track EP. They're all fucking great. But yeah, man, Mistress of Blood. It starts with single note riffing. So does the uh, Blood of As Adazoth. What is it? Yeah, Adazoth. Dude, that single note riffing, man. Morgul's just grip. I mean, it's melodic. It's heavy fucking extreme black metal. And also has elements of black. It's still, I still feel a fucking little hint of black, heavy metal in there, which I fucking love about these guys. You know, they just fucking keep you guessing, man, which I fucking love. I love when bands are just fucking unique. Yeah, man, here we go. And I fucking love it, especially the black metal band is melodic. Just adds that extra oomph to it, you know? But yeah, man, great shit from fucking Finland. Can't wait to see what these guys do next. Nightmare Lord was, of course, a fucking masterpiece. Their first debut, if you have not heard that. Also talked about it in a few videos back. Sure, that's it, right? Put the fuck in. Did this come with the lyric sheet? I don't think it did, did it? Fuck, sorry you guys. Make sure I put everything in here. Yeah, I think I did. Huh. Thought I had a lyric sheet, but I guess I'm fucking off. Guess I'll go fuck myself, right? Anyways, yeah, you guys, Morgul's self-titled EP. You can't go wrong with this. Go grab yourselves a copy if you have not. Just really love the aesthetic. I gotta show it one more time. Just look at all the fucking knives around that guy. Just fucking great. Yeah, I love these guys, man. They're fucking black metal as fuck. Yeah, as I said, cannot wait to see what they release in the future because I will definitely fucking drain my wallet for it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, and also, I pulled out the CD. I also bought the CD. I stupidly broke the case. It did not come broken, I should say that, but I did not expect to see a mini CD of this, <laughs> which is fucking awesome. You don't see mini CDs nowadays a lot. I think I have another CD. I only have one other mini CD, but yeah, that's fucking awesome, man. Little Morgul mini CD. So yeah, get your hands on that if you have not. And the next two are from a band that if you have heard of, I give you props because I never uh, hear anything about these guys really. And they really deserve all the credit that I hope they get after this video if you have not heard of these guys. But yeah, this is Terrorama from Sweden. This is their debut uh, EP, EP, debut full length, Horror to Face, uh, released on Nuclear War Now. And check this out, man. I don't know if you can see the spine there. Where is it? Anti-Goth number 18. So very early on from NWN Productions, which I fucking love that label, as I'm sure many of you do out there. Comes with a printed inner sleeve here with some goodies inside. I think it just has a patch and a, oh no, a poster as well. I thought it had a sticker. Go ahead and like a little strip patch there. And a poster. Little poster there, a little strip poster. I thought it came with this. Oh, actually, no, I used a sticker and put it on my shelf. That's right. Just love their fucking logo, man. Yeah, it was just pretty much the patch design for the sticker. But yeah, I fucking love Terra Alma's logos, man. I think they have one of the best logos out there. 
Just look at that. A very creative name too. I mean, Terrorama. Sounds like it could be like a fucking scary, kind of funny TV show. Terrorama, yeah, there's a gate bolt there. Um, this one, Terrorama, you could, I guess, classify as, oh, I'm showing you guys the best part, shit. Let me get to that before I show you guys this. This was the Die Hard edition off of uh, Nuclear War Now, which I definitely have to jump on. Yeah, there you go there. The other side, fucking love that. But yeah, um, this album to me has always been straight up black metal. But they do have other elements of uh, in their sound. They have some death thrash elements, like a la Merciless, The Awakening Era. And they also have some uh, black thrash elements, which, you know, they keep you guessing. Again, I fucking love when bands do that. I think the best song for sure has to be the title track, Horror Face, is just a fucking great fucking... I think that one for sure is more black thrash than anything. And definitely Stigmatized Death is my second favorite, which that one is straight up fucking black metal. And I think Enlightenment Through Death, I really love how that one slows the fuck down. And you can really feel the evil in that fucking song. But yeah, man. Terrorama with Horror to Face. You cannot go wrong with this band. I fucking love these guys. And they do not get a lot of credit. I mean, I still got this Die Hard. I don't know if Yosuke from uh, Nuclear War now still had some in stock. Um, but yeah, I got the Die Hard EP, um, LP from uh, Nuclear War now. And maybe, I want to say shit. Not that long ago. Maybe five, maybe six years ago now. But uh, yeah, I was still surprised to find this. Uh, but yeah, if you guys can find this, I fucking I can't recommend it enough. I love these guys. They really don't get the praise they deserve, so hopefully they get it now. Terrorama with Horde to Face. Please check this shit out. All right, and now talking about my favorite album by Terrorama and their second one. I think they're no, they have another full length. I think this is their third full length. I don't even know. Ah, shit, you know I'm kind of blanking on their discography now. I know this one's before Omnipotence, but I think they also released. Genocide, I can't remember. But anyways, I'll check later, you guys. Terrorama, Omnipotence, the best fucking shit Terrorama has released, I think. It's nearly a perfect album, man. This one, for sure, uh, I think is more Black Thrash uh, than anything. Especially uh, my fucking favorite track here is uh, Misanthropic Genius, which I thought it was Misanthropic Genius for the longest time. But no, it is Genius comes with this beautiful Oxblood fucking variant here. This is also the Die Hard Edition that I got from Nuclear Worn Out Productions, of course. Yeah, I fucking love this record, you guys. The Terrorama logo, they know they have a badass logo. They put it there, there's a lyric sheet. Also comes with a patch and a sticker that I also put on my shelves there. Cause I just love these guys that much. And let me show you guys the fucking awesome matte material. Poster here. I just love this artwork, you guys. Just looks so gloomy and dark and sadistic and just evil as fuck, just twisted. And just like the artwork itself, man, this sound is very fucking twisted, which I just love Terrorama for. Perversion Extol has a very specific grunt or ooh in the fucking middle of it, the ooh, that I just always fucking sticks with me and I just cannot wait until that part comes around. But yeah, like I said, um, I think for sure Misanthropic Genius has to be my fucking favorite. And maybe Inseminated with Scorn and Self Exorcism. Also, I'll also give you those two. Fucking great Black Thrash, straight up fucking black metal songs. I think for sure the Self Exorcism, I think is one of the most black metal songs on here. I think straight up fucking black metal, really. But yeah, man, The Omnipotence Paradox. The Omnipotence Paradox. Great fucking opener, man. Yeah, Terrorama. Fucking love these guys, man. They don't get a lot of love. Please show them love. Please fucking go listen to this record. Especially Omnipotence, especially Misanthropic Genius. I cannot stress how good that fucking song is, man. It's so fucking black thrash, so fucking great. I especially love that part after the chorus where the fucking crash cymbal is just Like once you listen to it, you'll see that fucking drum beat is just very, very, very satisfactory, yes. But yeah, man. Terrorama with Omnipotence. Can't go wrong with this one. If I can put this lyric sheet in nice and gently. There we go. But yeah, you guys, go listen to this. I mean, just the artwork alone. Just look at that. Fucking awesome. Oh, wow. Like my phone's doing some weird shit. Do you guys see that? Oh, I like that. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, I didn't do it this time. Anyways, that's it, you guys. Omnipotence, Terrorama. Please go listen to it. And now... We get to the moment 
you've all probably been waiting for. It's like, yeah, just show us the new shit, jackass. All right, here we go. Got two packages for you. Fucking excited about. I wasn't gonna do an unboxing, but you know, I was just like, well, I was gonna do a fucking video this weekend anyway, so might as well get to it. I know what's in here. This one's a pre-order of three fucking records, and this one is a LP that I actually ordered at the Metal and Beer Fest, which I will explain why in a sec. All right, I might edit this out. So, to save time, but, okay, 15 minutes, yeah, we're just, I still got you guys for a little bit. All right, hope you guys are doing well. You've got a job, hopefully you work. Wasn't such a fucking drag. Hopefully you guys have gotten some LPs in the mail recently. That's always a great feeling. All right, here we fucking go. Woo! Gotta be careful with this one. Yeah. Oh shit, don't fall over, Vader. Good old Hell's Head Bangers, both packages from Hell's Head Bangers, I should say. Here we fucking go. Drum roll, please. Woo! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. And the reveal. Sanguisugabog's Tortured Hole. I ordered this legit after I saw Sanguisugabog's set. Because um, those of you who don't know, I'm not, or I wasn't a Sanguisugabog fan, or actually you can tell from my last video, I didn't even know how the fuck to pronounce their name. But once I saw their, sh oh, and I also bought a shirt, man, right after the fucking set. It, they got me that much, man. They hooked me in that much. Their sound was great live. The Fillmore in Philly just has great fucking sound. Everything sounded just on point, man. Especially these guys sound. Dead as shit, which they played live. Favorite song off this record. I fucking played it pretty much, uh, yeah, like two days, I repetitively uh, repetitively played it uh, while I was at work and shit. I just could not get enough of it, man. But I guess I won't take it out of the, uh, it's not a gatefold, right? No. Let's see what it comes with, you guys. I'm still getting used to this record. So I don't know much about Sanguis Ugabogs. I just know I saw their demo everywhere when it uh, debuted. Um, that red uh, with the uh, red background with the black logo and that weird looking little monster on there. Fucking awesome band, man. If you guys have not seen their music video for Dead As Shit, I really highly recommend you do. Holy shit, this comes with a fucking poster. Let's see this shit, you guys. Oh, that's fucking sick. Tortured Hole. Look at that fucking logo, too, man. I, I still can't figure out where this sanguine yeah, Sanguisugabog shit starts. Like, I can't even tell. I can kind of see the ass. I can kind of see the... No, I can't see shit in there, but yeah, look at that shit, man. Badass fucking poster. Badass fucking great, gritty, dirty ass, guttural death metal, just how I like it, man. These guys just hooked me in instantly. I wish I knew more songs um, by the time I saw them, man. That, I, I would have enjoyed the set that much more, but not to say I didn't enjoy it, I mean, a lot. I mean, I bought a fucking shirt and I bought the LP literally right after. Fucking awesome, man. If you have not heard Sanguisugabog, if you like death metal, you're gonna fucking like it, man. I mean, they haven't done really anything that, you know, hasn't been done already, but just the way the songs sound, the fucking heaviness, the pinch harmonics, fucking love everything about these guys. And they're very, uh, very new, uh, so I can't wait to see what else they fucking release, man. But yeah, Tortured Hole, I definitely have to get my hands on that demo, but yeah, please listen to this. I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it, especially if you're a death metal head. I mean, who isn't nowadays, right? Sanguisugabogs, torture bowl. Go listen to that shit. And now for the main event. Dude, I'm excited about these. I pre-ordered these, I wanna say back in, I don't even know, late May probably? Early? Yeah, like late May probably. Probably mid-May, I don't even fucking remember anymore. But they did ship early, earlier than the uh, estimated date. So, dude, I'm excited about this one, you guys. Gotta catch my breath for this one. Yeah. Woo, shit. Look at that fucking badass packaging from House Hat Bangers all the time. All right. Shit, don't wanna knock that shit over. All right. 
can't wait to see these. Can't wait to see this. This is literally me opening a package every day. I mean, well, not every day, like every time I get a package. Wish I ordered every day. <sighs> Started with my favorite fucking album. The first one I laid eyes on, you guys. You guys are my witnesses here. Fucking on Lord's Gladiator! Fuck, dude. Holy shit. First off, I should say, all the credit. Uh, goes to uh, J Dog from Hell's Head Bangers. Uh, Justin Horrible, if you have not seen his videos, fucking amazing guy, man. I mean, I first found out about J Dog uh, back when he still did the podcast with Reaper at uh, the Hellcast, of course. You guys, many of you guys know Hellcast. But yeah, all credit goes to him, and goddamn, I am making up for lost time because I had no idea these guys existed before these, this year, and I've been making up for lost time like you have no idea. But yeah. On Lord's Gladiator, man. Let me see this. Holy fucking shit. Pocket sleeve. Just how I like it. I mean, I like gate bolts too, but if they're not necessary, why even do it? Here's the fucking lyric sheet. Oh my God. Let me see the back. Oh, dude. Oh, just look at that. And then the main event, it's color too, you guys. My God. Cannot wait. Oh shit, god damn, that is clean, look at that you guys, holy fucking shit, Hell's Head Bangers did it again you guys, off of this one, crush till death you guys, listen to that shit, especially when it gets all fucking growly towards the middle, towards the end, oh man, dude on Lord, some of the most extreme black metal you'll ever hear, along with uh, some melody in there, some keyboards in there once in a while. But yeah, off of this one, Evil Spawn, Evil, Evil Spawn, Evil, Evil Spawn, Evil, Evil Spawn, Evil. Well, okay, I'll stop. But yeah, man, Evil Spawn, Slave Sand, Blood Grief, Impaled Liar. I could go on and on, man. But yeah, this one is definitely my favorite on Lord album. And just fucking look at that artwork, man. You gotta fucking love it, the fucking headless head going in there let me read what it says here in the hype sticker uh, okay 100 on black vinyl 400 on red and clear cloudy red red and clear cloudy vinyl Ooh, very nice long overdue reissue of this cult 1997 album available for the first time on vinyl cold cruel and absurdly fast rekindle nostalgia for late 90s black metal with on lord that's very true very ferocious black metal here you guys and I, as I said before, I hope you guys have not discovered this, uh, these guys yet or these albums yet. And I hope you discover them. I mean, hopefully here, wherever you guys hear talk about them, please fucking listen to them. Don't waste time. Don't be a fucking idiot like me. Unlord, fucking Dutch black metal. And I think I read on their, um, I don't know if it was Metal metal Archives or something, but uh, supposedly, or I think this cog somewhere around there. Um, I think they are credited as maybe the first Dutch black metal band, but... I don't know if that's true. If they are, if they're not, who gives a shit, man? These albums are fucking ferocious. Oh, second favorite. It's like fucking Hell's Headbangers new. The fucking debut full length here with Schwartzwald, which is, I think, the name of a demon there. All right, let's read the fucking hype sticker right here. Let's fucking go. 400 on orange and clear cloudy vinyl. I can't wait to hear, to hear, to see that. And hear it too, I guess. Long overdue reissue of this cult album from 2000. Available for the first time on regular vinyl format. No crappy picture discs. Cold, cruel, and absurdly fast. Rekindle. Okay, it says the same thing on the end. But they're Schwartzwald. And actually, I should say, I think probably last year or something, I think uh, Hell's Headbangers had uh, on Lord stickers. But I got this uh, sticker, the Schwartzwald sticker, and I had not heard this band at all at the time, but I really thought the design was really awesome. And I definitely did queue it up on YouTube, but I never fucking actually sat down and listened to it. And I fucking regret that to this fucking day, because I think I got that sticker last year. I put it on this shelf, actually. But yeah, man, this fucking artwork is beautiful. Let me fucking see it for myself. Holy shit, man. God damn, Blackbird, oh, Thunder Builder, Schwartzwald. Dude, Schwartzwald, the fucking title track gives me an old school black metal fucking vibe. Definitely fucking listen to that one, but definitely listen to Blackbird first, which is my favorite. Dude, the fucking lyric sheet here. God damn. 
Look at that shit, you guys. Woo! Okay, let's see the fucking vinyl now. Oh shit, oh shit, here we go. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Fitting is all hell. God damn, this was worth the wait. Look at that, you guys. Fucking beautiful. Get yourselves this copy now. These fucking copies, I should say. Get them all. You will not regret it, you guys. Look at that. And early, too, man. These are projected to ship um, June the 24th, I think. It is now currently June the 16th, or I guess the 17th now, because it's midnight. But yeah, man, you guys, like I said, listen to Blackbird, Messiah Noir, probably, Schwarzwald, Inferno Bazaar. Bunch of good ones, man. Rivers of Fire and Blood. Bunch of awesome shit on this one, man. On Lord's debut, Schwarzwald. Fucking amazing, you guys. Fuck. And of course, last but not least, the blue album. We already saw the red one. We already saw the orange one. Now we see Lord of Beneath. Fuck. All right, here we go. Let's read it. 400 royal and clear cloudy vinyl, 100 black vinyl. Long overdue reissue of this Colts 2002 album available for the first time on vinyl. You know what? I think the dates on these are wrong, right? Because I think Shorts Wall was 97, right? And Gladiator was 2000, no? I don't know. Anyway, let's get on to the fucking uh, hype sticker here. Long overdue reissue of this Colts 2002 album available for the first time on vinyl. Cold, cruel, and absurdly fast. Yeah, again. And it's true, very ferocious fucking black metal. I cannot stress that enough. But with a very nice element of uh, melody and the keyboards in there that I fucking love. Back to a three piece here. Unfortunately, the last full length these guys ever released. But I think with those three, they never need to release anything else, you guys. Like that album, these albums are just fucking amazing, you guys. Midnight in Hell, fucking Force of the Serpent, Angel of Fire, the title track, man. Fucking Torch the Bastards. Amazing fucking record. Oh shit. Are we ready for this, you guys? Are we ready? Dude. Dude. Oh my god. Holy shit, you guys. I'm in love. I'm in, I'm in love. Look at that. God damn. First thing I'm doing, man, after I fucking stop pressing, uh, I've been pressed up on this thing, listening to these fucking records, you guys. As you should too, if you have not heard this band at all, I cannot recommend it. Recommend them enough. Cannot recommend Sanguisugubag enough, and also Terrorama. Seriously, listen to Terrorama, but listen to On Lord first, because I mean, why wouldn't you? Anyways, you guys, that's it for this uh, hearty stack here of fucking amazing black metal and uh, few and far in between some other genres, but. Hope you guys enjoyed this stack. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Decibel Metal and Beer Fest videos. Um, I can see the fucking views in those going up already. So thank you guys for that. And again, thank you for the support. Thank you for sticking around. And as always, for checking this bullshit out. Thank you so much, you guys. It means a lot. See you guys in the next one.